So I was thinking last week how amazing it would be if I had a massive display next to my laptop that I could use for the few times that I'm in my office that cost about twice as much as the computer itself. And then I remembered that Apple had exactly that, the Pro Display XDR that I could spend $6,000 on and not have any more problems. Of course, that didn't happen, but what did happen was me finding a Apple Cinema Display 30 from about 15 years ago, and of course, I wanted to figure out if I could get it to work. That's exactly what I attempted to do and did. It's actually <laughs> this guy, but just a lot bigger <laughs> on my desk right now, and it was kind of a pain in the butt to get it to work because it's so old and requires such specific peripherals, but I got it to work. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this display. So this is the Apple Cinema HD display, or Cinema Display HD. It came out in 2004, and Steve Jobs announced this, and it was really the first monitor from Apple that looks like their conventional monitors. And it looks like this. A Little bit smaller, same, same exact panel size, improved panel in a dramatic new enclosure. And really for the next 15 years, the design has not changed at all. I mean, you look at the Pro Display XDR, it is this, but just streamlined for 2020. Not a huge change. So Apple announced 22 inches and 20 inches for these displays. Younger brother to the 23, we also have a 20 inch display, same exact quality, same enclosure design. And then there, one more thing back when those happened. On the display side, we do have one more thing. And it was crazy, it was huge. No one thought about 30 inch displays, which is crazy now when we have like 50 inch, 49 inch curved monitors at workstations. But this 30 inch 2560 by 1600 display was ridiculous. I think today is gonna go down as a huge day in the history of big. <laughs> the largest high resolution computer display ever, a new, <laughs> a new 30 inch cinema display. And in fact, it was so ridiculous that it needed a dual link cable in order to make this work with the Power Max uh, that were out at the time. So yeah, this needed a special dual link DVI cable in order to connect it to their Mac. You couldn't connect it to a laptop, but here we are today connecting it to my laptop. All right, but yeah, it's a crazy contraption and this is 15 years old and this was a huge deal when Apple released it then. And what's actually interesting is that this thing was $3,300 when it was released. Yeah, $3,300 15 years ago for this 30 inch display, which now this would be like maybe 500, like this same modern display would be like $500 or so. But Apple was touting the fact that you could pair them together. You could put two of these displays together for 8 million pixels uh, to have an incredible display for your Mac. And I think it's actually just about the equivalence of what we're seeing now. Instead of two of these 30 inch displays, we're getting this massive, gorgeous, pixel intense display of the Pro Display XDR, which is about $6,000. And if you pair two of these together back in the day, it was about $6,000. Some things never change. This is a matte display with a silver aluminum body and some plastic edges. There's just three buttons on the side and then one power cable on the back, as well as two Firewire and two USB ports on the rear. That's all you get. Now, the one power cable that comes out the back of this display is pretty important because that goes to a power brick that brings all of its power, but that also has um, an adapter that has USB and Firewire built in and uh, that will allow you to connect to a display such as your Mac. Now for this, because I wanted to connect it to my 2018 USB-C computer, I had to go another step and I tried so many different accessories, so many different routes. I spent so much money trying different adapters. So the first thing I tried to do was taking the monitor's Firewire 400 and putting that into a Firewire 800 adapter, then attaching that to a Firewire 2 mini display connector, and then connecting that to a mini display to USB Type-C connector to connect to my computer. A, a crazy contraption and it didn't work because the adapters that I was using needed to have power delivery. So ultimately what I landed on was uh, this hinge dock, which is a AC powered USB-C dock and this had a mini display port. So now I have that big power brick from earlier going into Apple's dual DVI 
power cable, which you also need to buy and it's pretty expensive, then I have all that running into this dock supported with power delivery. That way I can power up my mini display port and then connect that via USB Type-C to my laptop. So now I have my MacBook Pro connected to this giant display and it works just fine. 2560 by 1600, 15 years later. Uh, all these accessories definitely cost more than this display itself, but it's worth it because the thing's awesome and it's so old and I don't need a 5K or a 6K display for the work that I do, especially when I'm partially colorblind. All right, this is a really simple, quick video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions or want to pick up one of these for yourselves, maybe. I think it's really cool to have and I'm glad that I am able to use it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, leave any questions or comments down below. We'll see you in the next video.